Spanish film Day Release is screening at the Metro 4 Theater in Santa Barbara today. The director and the producer slash lead actor is joining us this morning to tell us more about the film that's all based on real events. Sharin's with them right now, but first, here's a look at the trailer. Hace cinco años, mató un hombre en un accidente de coche por el mamado. Mira, Mar, me has hecho al taller. Ya no soy tu hermanita, soy un borracho de mierda y la gente me mira mal por tu culpa. All right, welcome everybody. We are so excited to introduce you to the, the makers and the lead actor and director of Tercer Grado, or what they're calling as Day Release. That's going to have its fourth screening at the film festival. So yes. good to have you guys with us today. Uh, Jesus, let's start with you. You're the lead actor of the film. Uh -huh. um, first of all, how did you come in contact with Jeffrey here? Well, we met like nine years ago, more or less, uh, while we were shooting a short film in Barcelona. And eventually, as he's such a great, talented director, <laughs> and I just wanted to work with him. And we did uh, five short films together, and one of them in New York, while yeah. I was studying acting there. And, and yeah, eventually we, we said, hey, let's do something more... Uh, we need a responsibility. Right. So uh, me as an actor, he uh, as a director, and we decided to wrote a script, found uh, a production company in Barcelona, and do our first feature. Well, I'm so excited for you, and I actually <coughs> didn't tell you guys this, but I actually lived in Barcelona for a little uh, yeah. bit of my life, and so I have <laughs> right. a love for it. Uh, <laughs> Barcelona, as they oh, yeah. say, Barcelona, right? Yes. Um, this film is interesting. It's action-packed. It's drama, and and you play Mark Rodriguez, someone yeah. who just came out of prison uh, for five years, but on his first weekend of parole, you actually witness something pretty incredible, and then it affects your relationship with your brother uh, because he's very bitter uh -huh. for, I guess, you ruining the family reputation, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, my character committed a, a crime. That uh, that destroyed the family reputation and and yeah he you know in his first week in Pearl he just wanna you know make peace with his brother mm. but uh, you know it's a broken relationship so uh, he randomly wishes uh, um, witnesses uh, a robbery of an armored car right. and you know he has nothing to lose so he he decides to follow the robbers and. And see what happens if he can help his brother. Yeah, yeah. kind of almost save yeah. the family again, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A and Jeffrey, you were talking about uh, the filming of this this movie, and it was interesting. I mean, really dramatic scenes here, mm -hmm. a lot of violence. But mm -hmm. uh, there was this one scene you said that you actually had to recruit hundreds of people, hundreds of students to help <laughs> you out with it. Yeah, well, that was uh, one of the best uh, achievements of the directing team. But uh, yes, yeah, since it's a low budget movie and it's our first feature, we needed all the help we could get. Right. So somebody thought it would be great to involve the uh, like two high school classes so instead of going to school they would come to our shooting ah, okay. <laughs> and that way we would have free extras and they had a, a blast and that was amazing although we had to shout uh, like uh, don't smile please this right. is a serious thing they were having such a their great chance time. to learn filmmaking yeah and, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. miss school for a few hours which was good but yeah yeah and, and it was incredible and that kind of collaborations were necessary this was the world premiere here at the yeah. film festival so congratulations Thank the fourth so screening so tonight yeah. how has it been received so far well, fantastic. I mean, we were doing Q&As uh, every day and almost all the audience stayed for, uh, for the questions and then they sort of came to us uh, mm -hmm. out of the theater to, uh, to say that they loved the movie and they, uh, yeah, take pictures and right. so, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Well, I mean, yeah. to do a movie, it's always a struggle and it took us like uh, three years from the first uh, idea, but like two mm -hmm. years from the script to the final edit and uh, to finally hit the screen and hearing the audience get involved and we hope that they liked it. That's yeah. the best because, and especially in this festival, which is amazing. I mean, I don't think there could have been a better world premiere than yeah, this I mean, one. We've never been in, in in the West Coast, so this oh, is our first, first time, time in California. Ah. Yeah. And, you know, showing our our first feature in, you know, here is just fantastic. And the, the weather's great. Not a bad place yeah. to do it, right? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> best place to do it. We're I want to call my mom and right? say, I'm staying We're yeah. not leaving, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Tercer Grado, day release. Today, Metro 4, 4 o'clock. Jesus Lloveras, Jeffrey Kalpen, yes. Copper. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Congratulations yeah, yeah, on the you. film. Go check it out tonight. Tercer Grado, day release. The last screening is today. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. You were always on my